Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jewel. Um, here's the flip through of the final um, set. The vintage lace envelope, drawstring bag, and journal set. And I'm going to start from the beginning and show you this. So let me take the, this journal or this vintage envelope stack out of here. Let me show you both of these items, by the way, can fit in uh, the drawstring bag. I made it roomy enough uh, where you can store the whole set right in the journal. Okay, so with that, let me just show you this drawstring bag real quickly. For those that did not follow along with the series on the making of this, um, I have a beautiful, um, I think this is called, um, Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, it was on the tip of my tongue that the type fabric this is, but it's a beautiful fabric. Here's the front, here's the back, and I have it layered up with trims and laces in this adorable pear soap um, vintage advertisement. And we've got a removable um, antique brass key here. So let me move that aside and I'm going to sit down because I'm going to go through all the ephemera in these and this is a, a vintage envelope stack on a stack on a stack. So I'm going to untie this and there is a lot, a lot of, a lot of ephemera in there, in here. Okay, so I have the whole, the whole stacks all tied up with this um, real pretty, um, it's got gold, golden cream uh, baker's twine. So let me put that aside. Okay, we're gonna start from the smallest. And you can see with the stacks, um, it has, uh, it's, they lay so pretty when they're all tied up because they're all embellished and you can see there's different uh, lengths and dangles and all sorts of things. So it really makes a very pretty presentation. All right, the first two little envelopes, um, actually these were, I thought this was supposed to be tied in here, I guess not. Okay, so I've got this little envelope and you can see the collaging on here and there's the back and I have it clipped with a black uh, paper clip um, and then you can see it's stamped here. These are all lined and inside here we have these three pieces of ephemera, all vintage style. The whole thing is a vintage style um, stack. So let me put that aside. This one Velcros. I have this pretty seal on here. Flip this up and we've got these three pieces of ephemera. So these are the teeny envelopes, which are so cute for in your journal, so cute for putting little notes on the back of these. Okay, some are backed on cardstock, some aren't. Most of them are. This tiny postcard, so cute. Really enjoy making these, super fun. Um, time consuming. I'm just going to simply slip this uh, sari silk off, and this is a, a bundle of two right here, two more. And uh, you can see how that layers. I've got some, um, printed vellum here, or embossed vellum, and some a little tiny Tim Holtz paper clip, and in this one, what, this one's empty. Oh my goodness, I gotta put that aside. I've gotta put some fun stuff in that. Uh, maybe I didn't put anything in these two. Uh, okay, so you can see the front of this. I've got some lace, and these are all vintage stamps, um, real vintage stamps, okay? And then I added a pearl, an antique pearl dangle on the back of this. You've seen me use those before. I only have a few left. And then in this one, I did these cute pieces of ephemera. There's this one and then this. And these are great um, for you to, you know, just put in your journals and or just do your own little notes and add them and you know pass them down through the generations how fun okay now we're going to the middle stack and i'm just going to slip this uh silk sorry not sorry yeah sorry seam off the side okay now we have another stack of 
four, four envelopes. So this one has some trims here and a button and of course the vintage stamp. I've got a clip with a copper uh, paper clip. And on the back, I've got an eyelet uh, with a gold key and a ball pin can be removed. And you can see the stamping here and that beautiful vintage wallpaper um, uh, graphics. And then we've got a postcard. We've got this cute one, and this is for Parker's Tonic, whatever that is. We've got a, uh, a label. These are all ready to either put in your journal or to write on. This cute cuckoo, I guess it says cuckoo. And this pretty piece of vintage uh, style ephemera here, and you can write on the back of that. So that is in that envelope. Okay, and this one, I have some pretty applique trim here and um, some more of that embossed vellum and I did some lace, a lace trim enclosure here which you just simply um, do that. And then we have um, a little writing booklet here for notes. We have an antique uh, style vintage um, receipt. These are all antique style. I do have some um, real antique in a few of these. Some um, Sears Roebuck um, magazine things, and I think those are in the larger ones. Uh, this is an embossed envelope, and I simply slid it at the top because I have this seal on the back. So you don't have to break the seal here, and it keeps that, that pretty little gold uh, piece of doily on there little button, some gold threads, and then some embellishing here. And in this one, let me see. Okay, I have one of the glassine bags with one of my wax seals on it, and that's a J for uh, my initial. Just so this whole stack, I think that's the only J I put in it. I did other wax seals. We've got this cute um, ephemera there. Uh, this says small fruits. This is a backed on cardstock. And then this fun little booklet here. And all of the digitals uh, are listed under part one if you're interested in that. Actually, I might put them under this one as well. It's just so time consuming to go back and copy and paste. Um, so then we've got the, uh, the last one in this stack, the medium stack. You can see I have this pretty flower with a um, some bling crystal. That's a crystal and then some fabric and then this lace. Love that. And then I did lace again as the enclosure here. And then this one's pretty well um, full. So we've got this beehives. That's backed on craft cardstock, this one, and then this little booklet here again. So let's just pop that in there. So let's put these aside. Okay, now we're moving on to this stack. And this one I just have, these two I have tied up with jute. A jute twine okay because I thought it went well with the antique uh, well the antique piano paper music paper you know player piano paper I should say and I've got some trims and some washi and some uh, crocheted uh, trim there and then again uh, the uh, lace and then this is embossed here. This might be my favorite envelope. I, I think this is real. This one came out really cute. You can see that beautiful paper on the inside. We have a vintage style luggage tag here. This one, this is a vellum globe. I don't know if you can see, you can see through that. This piece of, this, um, it's like a journal card. And another vintage postcard here. Let me see. It goes which way? It goes this way. Okay, so that's that's quite a bit in that one. Lots of ephemera. 
for you to use in your um whoops that goes in the other one okay now this one i did some trim here and then a, a some bling and then um another vintage postcard and i did a um like a uh, just a collage of fabrics and stuff and i've got this actually um velcroed so you can always have that cute um cluster i guess you could call that cluster this cute photo of this young girl a bird these are all backed on heavyweight card this one, she's so cute. Those old-fashioned buggies or something. Uh, I've got this vintage music um, paper, piano forte. Well, it's a it's a a facsimile because it's small. It's shrunk down. And then this real pretty um, advertisement done on cardstock. Okay, so that's in that little stack. Let me put that ju aside. Then I have the larger envelope stack, and there are four in here, tied up with this beautiful aqua-colored sea green, I think it's sea foam um, tie that I thought went well with the vintage um, facsimile wallpaper. In this, I have another um, strand of my antique pearls here, and these came off of a uh, night uh, sweater from the 1940s that was handmade in Hong Kong. So I matched my paper clip to the aqua. This has all been embossed. Some antique style tape there, antique um, or a vintage uh, stamp, and then you flip it over. I do have some washi here. And this has also been um, lined with that pretty vintage wallpaper stuff, style stuff. And then uh, we've got this postcard. This is backed on card. It says the Vienna Beauty. Another vintage um, advertisement here. A little fold out for lots of either writing a note or uh, making memories uh, postcard and a uh, another piece of uh, ephemera backed so there's there's a lot in that one so let me put that one aside okay then we have let me put this back here that trim now this one, um, again, has a seal in the back. I'll start with the back, and you can see it's a fleur-de-lis. And then we have this pretty embossing on the, you know, part of the envelope here, the flap. And then I did a, um, a layering of fabrics and laces and stuff here. And I have a little sewing machine on a ball pin that can be removed and also a vintage stamp. And in the side, I slit the side see what we have in here okay we have a um, a vintage style uh, receipt here that it's backed a postcard another one of the larger of these little writing sheets and then from my 1920s st. Nicholas magazine I added one of these beautiful advertisements from it. So this is authentic vintage. And that's for Heinz almond, almond, honey and almond cream. And then the back is for a chocolate. Mallard's chocolate. So that's in that one. Okay, and this one you can see I have some embossing. A little uh, fun... Um, Cut off here and then the vintage stamp and then if you flip it over I did a wax seal and I like that color that came out nice okay so let me pull out all the ephemera in this one the larger um, envelopes I, I put you know a fair amount in so we have this one for use the Alden fruit vinegar uh, we've got this grape salt these are like advertisements this one for melon fruit fruit bearing plant and this 
a postcard here. This is a vintage style postcard. Okay, so that's in this one. I'll just pop that right there and there. Okay, this one, okay, this, this one, you can see I have some trims layered here, some applique, some fabric, a fabric ruffle that I've stamped on. And then, of course, the vintage stamp and a little uh, trim up here. And then this one, I have a pearl uh, um, brad. And then, of course, all the, the trim. And then this one just pops up just like that. It's Velcro again. And in this one, and that pretty vintage style wallpaper digital, we have this, Apple's Labels, another postcard. Okay. This beautiful bird print. This cute file folder. And this uh, for lactart acid of milk, a delicious beverage. Okay, so that's in that one. And then the bottom of the stack, I made this print, um, vellum envelope and there's a rose wax seal and some gold threads and let's pop out what i have in here okay i have one of my watercolor postcards that i did and it's a collage postcard and you can uh, put a stamp on it and put it send it to a friend or just write right on the back and make some notes or whatever you want to do with it so there's that one this is a vintage um postcard here these are vintage style postcards. This one is for Chase Sambor, Sanborn. So I have that one. This one is a real vintage postcard for Wisconsin. Look at these old cars. So fun. This is also a vintage postcard for the State House in South Dakota. And then this is um, from one of my antique magazines and I made a journal card out of it. Okay, so that's what's in the vellum envelope. Okay, now let's get into, and all of that wraps right up with all of my trims and everything and goes, it can be stored right in here or you can put it through your journal. Uh, this journal's pretty full. So I um, wanna show you the spine. Now you can see this is the vintage um, uh, wallpaper print I used on here and it's layered with some trims here and then a label where you could write right on that label. There's these pretty uh, buttons on the spine that coordinate with the journal. This is a removable tassel and the tassel has some fun charms in it. It's got all kinds of trims. Let me stand up. Oops, sorry, guys. Stand up and make sure you can see this tassel in. It has all kinds of beautiful trims in it. So, and that simply can, that can be removed by simply untying this and removing it from the cover. And here is the back. I have a key, another antique key, and a, um, eyelet there and a sari silk um, tie enclosure and we'll get into this it's a fairly simple journal but i do have quite a bit of ephemera again i'm staying with the whole antique wallpaper look so there's a pocket here and some trim and there's um some little um postage stamp style pieces of ephemera here and they 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 shrunk down the wallpaper. Okay, we've got a tag here. We've got a book plate here that you can put here if you want or just make notes on. And another label. Got a little pocket here with a tag and another, um, some trim and another one of those postage stamp deals you can see we've got trims on this uh angled pocket and in this another one of my printed vellum not printed my vellum envelopes it's got a rose and there is a postcard in that i've got some uh, vintage um book pages floral book pages 
And I'm simply going to quickly go through this so you can see manuscript paper, lots of room to write in here. And you can add some of your vintage um, ephemera on the pages. This is uh, linen paper. Got all this room here if you wanted to put some of that in here. This is um, from one of my antique books or mag uh, yeah magazines. That is onion skin. It's like a vintage onion skin, actually. I made a pocket in this doily. This is simply a cutoff that I made a little booklet with. There's some stenciling, coffee stained paper, vintage uh, ledger. We've got this, the middle of the first signature, and these are two really large tags where I cut down a vintage wallpaper. Um, digi, and there's some two trims here, and then that pretty paper there. Okay, and here I have a tag, and then this from I made from one of my antique magazines and backed it on cardstock. And that doily pocket bag. Plenty of room to store things. Linen paper printed a vellum. Manuscript paper. I like that because it that was gifted to me from one of my friends and it really you can do a lot of writing on that. Okay, in this angled pocket, I have a tag in some of that beautiful fabric I used um, for the drawstring bag, and then another label and this little small piece of ephemera here. And we have a little angled pocket with some trim, and all of this ephemera in this little, whoops, this little uh, flip up, or you can flip it out this way. Tons of room for writing. Did a little scallop pocket here and some trim. This is a piece of dimensional ephemera that I made. And another piece of ephemera in there. Antique music paper, or vintage, I should say. A coffee stain ledger. Um, parchment writing paper. Antique um, dictionary. Um, tracing paper. Okay, the middle of the second signature, we have pockets here. These are two little booklets and another little, couple little uh, postage stamps. And then I made these pretty tags with a scallop top out of a vintage um, wallpaper digi. As you can see, there's a lot of room for writing. I did a, quite a variety of pages, this and, um, vintage book. Some stenciling. We've got a scallop pocket up here with this uh, cute um, for maltine. Some advertisement. This is a little flippy book here. You can write in, and there's also a pocket here with two more pieces of ephemera. And some trim. Okay, a little lace here. Um, I cut down one of my master boards and made a tag and added this pretty silky um, trim up here and there's a, a, a metal eyelet there. This is a fabric flip with some lace on some um, writing parchment paper. So pretty. Stenciling. So vivid. This, this, um, 
that digi came out so pretty, so vivid. Um, okay, now we have on this coffee stain paper, I have a large journaling card here for Saratoga Hammock. And then a little pocket here with some trim, and I just collage, you know, just put a couple pieces of those cute postage stamps. And then this flips, and we have another pocket here, and I just did a fold out cut off and did some scallop trim on it and then you can see some crocheted trim here and then this is the middle of the last signature these are both booklets that open up and then smaller um, journaling cards and there's some trim here and also I did put some booklets in the side here and in the side here for a little secret journaling spot on each side or a tuck spot okay here we have um, a little booklet out of a bridge a bridge card some trim this pretty piece of ephemera here uh, I got a tuck spot here there's nothing in it a little collage here and then some trim and again another booklet and another label and another um, one of those postage tile stamps. Big, it's actually quite a large journal. This is a really fun set. A tag, and this fun little uh, tuck I made here, and this just flips out for writing. This is empty, and I actually had put something I'm going to put something in that because I actually pulled something aside, but I'm working on another project now, so my desk is full. Uh, so I'll put something in that. And then uh, this is also a pocket here. I'll slip a little something in there. And then this is simply a um, antique a Sears and Roebuck uh, catalog page. Okay, guys, so that's set. With all of those, and I mean, there's a ton of them over here. I'll tie them all up and make them look pretty again and stuff everything back where it belongs. And that will be for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, today is Monday, and I will put it in on Tuesday. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.